Hello Divination and welcome to our mini series 5 ways on how to style Divi's countdown timer module. The countdown timer module is very important because it can be used on several pages. For example, sales pages, coming soon pages or any page that has time sensitive information. So in this mini series, I'll be showing you step by step how to style these pages and make them look very creative. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. Today's quick tip was written for Elegant Themes by Tim Striffler. So this is the final design and this is what we're going to achieve at the end of this quick tip. So you can see here we have a large image which is pretty much uh, covering the whole page and we've also stylized this countdown timer. Now out of the box DV provides this countdown timer in a very minimal way. It does the job which is the most important thing but the idea with these mini series is taking this minimal design to the next level. To achieve this design you're going to need two assets. Firstly you're going to need a background image which I downloaded from ansplash.com. So what I've done with this image is I took it into Photoshop and cropped it down to 2600 by 1744 pixels. Now what I also did is you can see here this image is slightly dark. While you're in Photoshop or any uh, image editing software that you use is to darken this image. In Photoshop all I did is I added black on top of this image so you can see this is the original image. So I added black and then I uh, lowered down the opacity down to 70%. So this is how I managed to achieve this. Okay so once you have your image ready. Next you're going to need some CSS code and what I've done is I've added the link to the post in the show notes below. Alright so let's get started. Let me show you how to build this page step by step. So firstly you need to log into your admin dashboard and create a new page. So I'm going to come here to pages, click on add new. So I'm just going to call this page uh, C timer and then I'm going to click on use the div builder. Next click the use visual builder. So here what we need to do is to add a row and the single row is what we need and we also need to add the countdown timer. So I'm going to add the countdown timer. So here on the countdown timer I've just added the date and you can also adjust the hours here as you wish. Next you need to make sure that the text color is set to dark and use background color is set to no. Brilliant. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and now I'm going to add the background image. So I'm going to click this gear icon on the settings and then I'm going to click on upload. So I have my image loaded in the media library. I'm just going to click on it and then upload an image. So you can see here my image is added in the background. So once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So now I can see what's happening here as I'm designing the page. So let's go back into the uh, module settings and make some more changes. So here I'm going to start off by adding the uh, countdown timer title. So I'm just going to call this launching soon. But you can use any title you wish. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got my text uh, there. I'm going to go now to my design settings. So here in the design settings we need to change all the fonts to Arvo. So I'm going to start with the header font and then just select Arvo and then the numbers font, the label font. So the reason why we're doing this is pretty much just moving away from the default font that comes with um, our DV builder. Okay so now, so now that we've done that we need to um, make sure that the number font is bold and 52 pixels. So if we come here to the numbers font, we just to make it bold, we just need to activate this B and it also needs to be 52 pixels because 64 is slightly too big. So I'm just going to lower it down by sliding the slider like that. So next we need to go to the label font and here we just need to uh, make sure that it's 12 pixels, all caps and it's set to bold. And then finally, as we can see here, the header font is um, not visible. So let's change that to white. So I'm going to scroll up here to the header uh, font color and then change that to white like that. So that's looking much better. And then finally on this page, we're going to add some custom margin to the bottom and we're going to set that to zero pixels. 
Okay, so next we're going to go into the row settings. So we just mouse over here and uh, click the gear icon of the row to go into the row settings. Now while we're here, we just need to make sure that the background color is set to transparent. So here, we're just going to click once on the background color, select white, and then we're going to drag this all the way down here until we can start seeing the image come through. So uh, I'm going to bring it down to about right there. I'm just going to go into the CSS tab and we're going to paste the CSS code into the main element part of this CSS tab. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. Now we can see that this is slightly pushed to the bottom. No need to worry because the next code we're going to add is going to make the background image fill the whole page. So I'm going to go into the section settings, click on the CSS tab, and then in the main element, I'm just going to paste this code. Now look at that. My image now is covering the whole uh, page of the website, and this is looking really, really good. Okay, so now that we're done with that, so go ahead and save. And then now we need to go into the module settings and add a CSS class ID. So here we're going to add the ID like that, save. And then the final code we're going to add to this is going to go into our page settings. So I'm going to click on expand settings and then click the gear icon. So this enables us to access the CSS part of this page. So all we have to do here is to paste the CSS code and that's going to give us our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.